it's just dApps, right? I mean, just like how do you, how do you interact with Google's massive centralized AI engine running on all the, all these server farms, right? I mean, you interact with it by a, a, a search engine or, or Google Assistant on, on your smartphone or something, right? So, I mean, what, what we're looking at is creating the AI engine powering the global AI economy. And ultimately what that should mean is AI is ambient behind every product that you, that you use. I mean, you're, you have smart homes, sm smart, smart cars, smart cities. You have a virtual assistant in your smartphone that actually understands what the hell you're talking about. You have AI behind the supply chains delivering stuff to your house. You, you have AI bioscientists discovering new, new cures for, for diseases and AI engineers designing new, new products. I mean, so that there's a whole DAP layer, right? So you've got, you've got the DAP layer and then you've got the AI algorithm layer and you, and you've got the, Singularity Net, multi-agent system layer, then you got HyperCycle, then you've got Cardano, then Linux and the internet. So from, we're really just about making blockchain-based AI the best choice for every application developer on, on, on the planet, which is, is not the case right now. I mean, sometimes it's the best choice. Often it isn't really the best choice for what a given AI developer wants to do. You want it to be the best choice across the board. I mean, just as, you know, right now, using cloud computing is almost always the best case for an application developer, right? Like it didn't used to be. There was a while when the cloud was too expensive and annoying to use. There was a while when it was like, well, do we use cloud computing or do we host everything locally, right? Now, pretty much everything's, everything's going to go in the cloud, right? And you, you need, you need uh, blockchain-based AI to be like that. You need it to be the default choice for every, every sort of AI, AI application. We're, we're certainly far from there in the sense that there's a lot yet to be built, but the beauty of exponential acceleration of technological progress, as we see, as we move closer to a singularity, right? The beauty of exponential acceleration is that what seems very far can, can actually be, you know, two or three years off because each year you're getting more done than in the previous year.